Hello friends, how are you? My name is Corbin Reed and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm really excited because I'm bringing you a fall living room kitchen decorating slash rearranging makeover. So the way that I decided to sort of renew my space is to rearrange the furniture. Um, I actually wanted to make room for two new pieces. Uh, one of our partners of today's video sent over two new pieces which we will get into later. But um, yeah, so in this video today, I rearrange my living room and I take you through the process of making room for those pieces and then also using fall foliage, bowl fillers, um, scents, candles, things like that to decorate the space and hint at the season. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please keep on watching and hopefully you feel inspired to decorate or rearrange yourself. So this is my living room just in totality before I made any changes. It's a little backlit so I apologize for that but um, I just wanted to give you an overview of what the room looks like since I'm moving a lot of furniture. This is a precursor to me doing built-ins, so stay tuned for that. These Billy bookcases that I am moving are going to get taller and change color and get built into some cabinetry with countertops on the wall that I'm moving them to, so that is really exciting. But I started by clearing everything out of this cabinet so that I could move it to the opposite wall easily without breaking anything and also i had to detach it from the studs but it's really amazing how moving furniture can just change the entire look and feel of a space This actually is a antique chest that I got off of a Facebook marketplace. It's an apothecary that I stripped. Um, it used to be in my office, but I decided to put it up in the living room because the settee that is in there is going in the hallway and the making way for these new chairs from Tina's home. So I just had to add back in all of the drawers in their proper place luckily they are numbered thank god because up there's a lot of drawers it would have made it a lot harder if they were not This wall is where I am going to add back in this large painting that I got from Home Goods a while back. Um, it just fills up the space. I have such tall ceilings, so I need large scale art to make the room feel filled. Over here, I just added some coffee table books in neutral tones and then I came in with this vintage Chinese water vessel and some burgundy bunny tails dried bunny tails to bring in the fall touches but I think the black face with the burgundy bunny tails really sort of tell the story and then of course the aged wood also just warms up the space and makes it feel cozier for fall Next up, it was time to style this cabinet, even though it is all going to change very soon. 
I wanted to put everything back in it. Um, so I just, I have this dough bowl with some moss in it. This also just gives you guys a good opportunity to see like all of the decor that I have because I really do use this cabinetry and these bookshelves for storage. Um, a lot of this stuff is things that I've collected over the years. That is a vintage um, pitcher. Um, that is a vintage Miju jar. I have a, a, a pretty hearty collection of vintage vessels and vessels in general. I will link what I can down below. Um, that is a vintage Turkish vessel that I got from Olive Atelier. But I use this cabinet to rotate decor in and out of my home. Just sort of alternating things on stacking books where they need height. And I will do a much more in-depth shelf styling um, when we get to my built-in series because those doors will be coming off and the cabinets will just be um, on the bottom and those will be used for storing sort of like glassware um, but this is just a mix of vintage vessels vintage primitive woods that's a, a vintage marble bowl with some wood links that I got from Studio McGee a while back um, that is a thrifted find. It's a brass vase with some thrifted brass candle holders. And again, it's not the best shelf styling in the world. Um, there's a thrifted find as well. Just a porcelain pitcher. I love the shape of that. All the curves and everything. But you will see a better video of me shelf styling once we get to the built-in series, which is coming up right after this. So stay tuned for that. It is a very exciting and massive, massive change. I believe the video will be about three to four parts. Then this is a vintage paper mache bowl with some moss balls in it and I had that on the cabinet before, I'm just adding it back on. I have these hurricanes with some white candles from Ikea and they're pillar candles that I used when I'm entertaining. I take them down and put them on surfaces and things like that. And then over in the corner is my travertine console with the primitive wood bowl and some more moss balls and a vintage Turkish vessel. This pretty much has stayed the same consistently, but I am adding a different piece of foliage. This is a actually Studio McGee or Hearth and Hand tree that I shaved down the base so I could fit it into this pot, but my ceilings are so high I like to add height in the corner and because I took that olive tree out so I could make room for the built-ins that are to come, I wanted another tall tree in the living room. So I decided to put this in the vessel that is already elevated on the console table and it is actually even taller than the olive tree which works out perfectly and I just stuffed it with some bubble wrap. On the sofa, I actually recently reupholstered this cushion. I don't know if I've shown this yet, but I reupholstered it with some sheepskin fabric from Etsy. I had it reupholstered, I should say. But these two pillows, the dark chocolate brown is one on Etsy. If I can find it, I will link it down below. And then this Eckhorn pillow is a Studio McGee pillow from last season's fall collection. And then this wool blanket is an Amazon find. It is 100% wool and it is beautiful. It's a little itchy, but it's really high quality and I love the pattern and, and um, the fabric. So I'll link that down below as well because that is still available for purchase if you are interested. The coffee table I kept pretty darn simple. I just have some books on there and this vintage marble platter, which I'll link similar ones down below. I've been able to find some online. And then for a fall touch, I just added this pumpkin amber glass candle from Studio McGee. I believe the scent is like amber woods or something like that. It smells really, really nice. This one should still be available, so I'll link it. Um, and then of course I had to get the fire going and turn the candle on to really get the cozy vibes 
started in the living room. The greatest change of this portion of the living room refresh was to add these beautiful matching accent chairs. I want to thank Tina's Home for sponsoring this portion of today's video. These chairs come in this beautiful mid-century modern vintage inspired fabric and style. They were extremely easy to put together and also incredibly sturdy, made from hardwood and high density foam filling. I think this beige buffalo pattern is a perfect add for fall, but also timeless and chic in this neutral color and is very on trend. My favorite feature of the chair is its reclining feature. I'm able to lay back and recline at either 105 degrees or 140 degrees with a built-in footrest by simply pushing back, no levers or buttons required. And it's also not like bulky traditional armchairs. They did an incredible job designing an armrest with such a sleek profile. So thank you again to Tina's Home for sending over these chairs and sponsoring this portion of today's video. If these chairs interest you, a link to the product is featured down below in the description box. <music> Lastly, I just added this vase that I actually was a part of a theater. Athena Calderon's collection for Zara Home with these burgundy faux stems that I got on Amazon. I will be sure to link those down below if you are interested in adding that burgundy touch for fall to a vase or some other type of area in your home. Lastly, I added these bowl fillers, which are these apples. Whoops, one rolled off the table. Um, that I got from the dollar spot at Target. I just loved the sort of subtle sparkle in them and the burgundy color. Again, that color is just adding in warm burgundies and browns and plaids and things like that are how I am adding warmth and coziness and texture for fall. And then over on my counter, this is another warm wood touch that I'm adding into the living room. Um, that is a Bijot tray that I got from Amber Interiors. I believe there are similar ones I can find if I will. If I can, I'll link them down below. I've shared these maple stems before. They're an Amazon find for around $22 for a pack. So love those. And then again, another Amber Glass candle from Target. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you felt inspired or you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment down below and just let me know like your best part or even just a heart emoji is enough. If you don't feel like commenting, I mean, I do love to hear from you guys, but also just any kind of comment you can leave really helps YouTube um, push my videos through the algorithm and it really supports the channel, so I would appreciate that. Um, and also, if you're not subscribing, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. Oh, also Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, please be sure to follow me over at Story Design underscore with Corbin Reed. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you soon with another one. Thanks, bye.